Hey YouTube, Brad Mercy Productions here, and I'm doing my first Let's Play of Black Mesa Source. Uh, this is a blind Let's Play. I've never played this game before. It just came out. Um, this first episode, I'm not going to really be doing much talking, as it's the tram ride, and I really don't want to ruin it, because the narrative is just really cool. It makes it... it has the feel of a movie, really. Um, so I guess for now, I'm going to go through the settings. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be playing on normal, just because that's normal, I guess. Um, I am going to keep the iron sights on. I know that's kind of a... people are torn about that, but I am because that's a major part of this mod. Um, everything else really, like fast weapon switch, I don't really... don't really think that's necessary. Um, Hound die, tinnitus, I'm not really sure what that is, but always run. See, I don't need that. Um, nothing else really. I am playing on max graphics, um, 720p. Um, Alright, so... Ooh, achievements. I didn't know that they had any. Uh, I guess now I'll start the mod. I mean... Hmm. Alright, I'm not... As I said, I'm not going to be talking much during this because I want to listen. So, here we go.
reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course in Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. valuable addition to the Black Mesa team. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team the Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Wow. That was amazing. And I think you agree with me. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks Morning. like you're running late. <laughs> Whoa, feels this I'm you not know, used to this. Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. I guess nice. his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Uh, you done? Oh. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> wow, the facial system in this is really good. I'm really surprised. Hmm. Wow. Alright. <laughs> I'm, I'm just amazed. This looks really, really good. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh god, that's, that's good, that is, that's really good humor right there. Oh wow, that's just Hey Mr. Funny. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. I'm going to have fun in this level, man. For Pete's sake! <laughs> Corporal Dominsky, please report This to is going to have to wait, Gordon. You'll just have to wait until two. after the test. <laughs> Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Oh, this, this can't be right. They didn't have flat screen monitors back in 1998. That's, that's not right. Wow. I think that's the original um, logo that was used, or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, graphic that was used on the wall over here. 
Wow. Windows 98 or 2000, one or the other. Oh yeah, 98. And this button. What are you doing still running around up here? Hmm. Hey, it's happening! How did that? What the hell is going on up there? <laughs> the scope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Give me the trouble? Hurtaw. Hurtaw, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Oh, what the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Ah, uh, copy. <laughs> Damn, Gordon. Huh. I can't be bothered right now. I'm rather busy now. I think I'm just gonna, like, let them talk. I'm gonna try not to talk that much. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. But the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans. Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Wow. Oh, would you Play look side. at that? Freeman Sergeant. actually did Sergeant. show up for work wow. this morning. Wow, Looks I like love the redesign. somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. I love this redesign. I mean, this game is just... I, I'm, I'm about, what, ten minutes into it? Not even, and I'm in awe. Wow. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Oh, this is what was used in the trailer, I think. Well, actually, not sure. Maybe. Can this wait? No. <laughs> Can this wait? Uh, fine. I suppose. And if I'm correct, there's G Man. Can't really hear. Him. Hmm. These guys. I always love to screw with these guys. Where's the light switch? Where's the light switch? Where's the light switch? Where's it? It's always right there. Oh god. You forgot to carry the two. Or was it the three? Still studying paleomathematics, eh? Hmm. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Yeah. Looks like it a lot. Doctor, hmm. Escobedo, please call two two seven. <laughs> uh, is there a light switch? I mean, honestly, come on. That's one of the main parts of this room. It's just a joke with them, I suppose. All right, whatever. If this is anything less than a full-scale Code Red Calamity, I'm not interested. Huh. I suppose that's something bad, then. You're living in the wow. past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? Wow. Inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Wow. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Ha! <laughs> I had a feeling that would that reference would make it into this quote. Contact Dr. Freeman about... I cannot read that. Uh, something. Lenses. Hmm. The 
this is just really oh is that a calendar <laughs> wow we can talk at lunch Gordon it's not gonna be <laughs> okay that's that's really funny instant blue screen I wonder if it's like a bell computers huh? can you access the mail server Boulder Dash and Falderall. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess, well, actually. Morning, champ. Hello. I wasn't going to screw around anymore, but. Huh. Oh, wow, they actually took the graphic from uh, the letter from the PlayStation 2 manual. I'm not smug. I'm oh just boy. better than you. <laughs> that is the textbook, te textbook definition of smug. I okay, Sorry I get that. that. You hit me, I hit you, then you get a morphine injection. Oh yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Good heavens! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. <laughs> ah! What was that for? <laughs> I wouldn't want to be around when the good doctor rears his head. You kidding? I wouldn't miss this for anything. He'll be fit to be tied. Huh. Whoa, what's this? That's new. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <laughs> Love that. Oh wow, this is completely redesigned here. Ugh, drat. No toilet paper. <laughs> uh, it's the little, little things. Uh, hello? Life. Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet oh, paper? Wow. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. I wonder if, I wonder if you Excuse can actually me. give him any. Minor emergency. Hmm. Oh, actually. I don't... Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. <laughs> More? Can I not... Oh, there we go. It's just for the achievement then. Nothing in there. I guess it's just a janitor closet. <gasps> and let's see what's in the locker. All right. Baby picture. A box. Hmm. An HUV charge or er, suit uh, charge thing. Whatever. Uh, Gordon Freeman and a beaker, coffee mug, and. What's this? Color polish? Huh. I don't really... And a jacket. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Grab this. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment. Huh. Of course, at the time it was not free.
attention for technical support. I think it's star 299. All right. I like the GUI, the numbers. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. This is also me. Suppose I can't get in there. Go right on through, sir. Looks like I'm in the barrel today. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Couldn't have said it better myself. Sergeant Dahlgren. Dr. Freeman? This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Located in the scenic Black Mesa Desert, Black Mesa Research Facility. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. I'm sure you've probably played this before coming to watch this, so... <laughs> Have you attenuated the displacement beacon signal? Damn it. I wonder if I could just use the ladder. Oh, no, they forced me to use the elevator. Wow. Well. There we go. And nothing down here. I see where they made the mandatory. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. What's up, Doc? Fusto Can you access the mail server? Again? It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. I think we could all use a little R&R, &R, know what I mean? Uh. Go bother someone else, Gordon. I'm rather busy now. Indeed. Hmm. Freeman? I think they're all the same voice, ha voice actors, pretty much. Hmm. <laughs> What's that? French fries. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Uh -huh. Come on then. I'll walk you down. Isaac. Dr. Kleiner. Eli has been busy making last minute preparations for the new experiment. Should we recompile? Greetings, Eli. I have no Morning, doubt. Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes. They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! Wow, I love the voice acting. What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. <laughs> oh wow, what's down there? I wonder if I can... Wait a minute, I think... Was I just here? I don't know. Uh... Wait. I don't know. Uh... Have you attenuated the displacement oh. beacon signal? Oh, I see. By Beckrell's ghost! The That's the, uh... Level is off the charts. I see how it is. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned 
as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. <laughs> Come that's, now, you're overreacting. That's a joke on the, uh, I don't know how much longer I can have on the source engine, how animations work. I need more time for myself. <laughs> huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. <laughs> wow. I, I'm going to be Have saying Have you wow, attenuated wow. the displacement beacon signal? No. This is new. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel... doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be mainly silent until I get actual combat going. It's a bit smaller actually compared to everything else in this game. It's much larger, but this actually looks actually kind of the same. I'm gonna be honest in size. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. There we go. Look, I pushed a button. Oh my god. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Wow, that's great. I'm seeing predictable phase release. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long it can but please work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance here. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Alright, this is it. This is it. Standard insertion. Non-standard specimen.
And guys, actually that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to cut off here and I'm going to resume in the episode 2 later. Um, thank you very much for walking, watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. I'll be making some TF2 videos soon, so thank you very much and goodbye.